Hey, it's Tim, pickup truck plus SUV talking in front of the 2023 Ford Super Duties with Ford's. Andrew Kernahan. And you have been with Ford for quite a bit of time. Quite a bit of time. I've been with Ford for about 28 years, the last three of which I've been the uh, chief program engineer for Super Duty, uh, leading the team, putting together this uh, fantastic uh, new product. Okay. And so you've seen, we've done a video on this. We did a live stream from Louisville. I just, I had some follow up questions. I want to get you on the screen for follow up questions. But so we have big changes here in the front. We have different grills. We have the C clamp head lights. One of the things I want to ask you though is we've expanded this grill and it seems like we have more airflow opportunities going through into the engine. Was that on purpose? Yeah, to meet our uh, targeted best in class horsepower and torque, we needed to get greater airflow into the engine. So we have ab absolutely, with these new grills, we have more air coming into the engine to improve cooling. Okay, and then underneath the hood, we have, uh, it's a little confusing to me, we have two different V8s that are gas, and it, it, I've done a little bit of research. These are the only heavy duty manufacturer I know of that have where it's two different gasoline options. So when somebody comes to you and says, why would I get one or the other? What, what, what do you, what's the difference to the engines? Well, with the, the 6.8, which replaces the 6.2 that we have on the current vehicle, um, it really is that entry level uh, performance level for XL work trucks. Um, and then when you upgrade to the 7.3, you're getting a little more horsepower and torque. Um, to, you know, so it meets the needs of different customers. Okay, and those numbers are to be determined. We're gonna come out with this a little bit later. Now, you have gone 10-speed automatic throughout the lineup for that. Yes. Now, when you're, I, I haven't experienced towing with this yet, but are you locking out the top gears like you've done in some of the half tons with, when you're towing? When you're towing, uh, yes, it's all calibrated so that you're able to lock out those top gears and uh, you know improve the towing experience and make sure that uh, the vehicle is doing exactly what you're expecting it to do and really you know giving you the experience of having more capability. Okay, and when you when you tune that transmission setup, were you looking for more off-the-line power, or were you looking for a little bit smoother shifting at highway speeds? A little bit of both. A little bit of both, trying to yep. get it both ways. Okay. Yep. And then, so, we, and we have we have an air dam. No, we don't have an air dam. This is the XL. Is this the new XL so off-road? This, this is a uh, Lariat Tremor. Okay. And uh, it has, so it does not have the air dam. Now, uh, you know, in heavy-duty land, we don't do emissions, we don't do EPA numbers, things like that. So does the air dam really matter? To be able to meet uh, you know, fuel, which our customers always demand that we have uh, competitive uh, fuel economy, yes, we need, need to have the air dam, uh, but we also do have to meet uh, emissions requirements, uh, especially for the diesel engine. Oh, okay, yeah, because the diesel has a special. Yep, okay, I'm, I'm with you there. All right, so that's that's the front going on here. I want to transition real fast to the side. Um, again, multiple videos on this, on this channel on this. So we have the side bumper steps built in here. So talk me through with this. So, um, do you have an engineering pound weight that you have a you know you can't exceed this step? Um, it is designed to be able to take uh, you know somebody who's carrying up jumping up into the into the box with a hay bale for example. Okay. So yeah. So it's a considerable amount of weight, and I we, you you won't get into a situation where you're causing issues on the on the truck even with the the biggest of person uh, jumping into the bed. Okay. One thing I did notice though is it's not it's not very deep. Was there much thought about like it looks like there's some limitations here with the bump? I mean you can't do much structurally, right? Well, the, I mean, the key is to be able to get the ball of your foot in there so you're able to swing your other leg over okay. to, over into the top. And uh, yes, we, we worked really hard to make this as big as we possibly could. Yeah, yeah, with the side. So then, and on the side, we have the side, side step as well. Yep, I'll have um, around that side. Yeah, whatever side, <laughs> which is really handy, right? So, I mean, I can actually reach this laptop if I wanted to, but this, so this is built in, the same idea, same strength. Same strength here as we have on the rear, and then available here and on the rear, we actually have a deployable step that'll come down as well. Uh, so you're able to have two steps to get into the bed. Yeah, for, well, guys like me. <laughs> I have a hard time with that one. <laughs> all right, and then the inside's all about the same as it's been in years past. The one question I asked, I'm sure your team in the background, I always find this fascinating, is on the front, we still have electric, they still have the locking uh, four-wheel drive, the, the, the twister system there. Um, it seems weird. It seems like you have the button inside, but now you still can do it outside. Well, we made the choice to maintain that, uh, just so if your Super Duty is all about being able to go anywhere at any time and having all of that capability. So we maintained that manual hub lock uh, just in case. Uh, so that you always have a way out of whatever situation you're in. Okay, yeah. And, and I'm sure we're doing massive amounts of towing, massive amounts of stuff as far as payload. Yeah, we're not able to talk about the numbers just yeah. yet, but we expect to be uh, best in class.
massive amounts. Like you're towing a school bus behind this thing. Yeah, huge. All right, uh, I'm thinking that's all I had questions for on this. I wanted that said I want to talk about the top things. So we have engines, we have the new bumper steps, we have the new grills, and we have a little bit more design stuff going on. But um, I just I was really curious about these different engines because it, it is it is kind of interesting. Six two to six eight, and for the average consumer looking at these displacement numbers, pretty pretty close, it can make an interesting case for them. Well, the uh, so the the technology has really kind of moved on in the last ten years for uh, gas engines. So that's why we chose to do the six eight and uh, maintain the seven three. You know the Godzilla engine, which is uh, you know well known and well recognized for its uh, durability. Yeah. Uh, you know within the uh, within the industry. All right, because you have less moving parts. And, yep. And by the way, the Godzilla is probably the best name for the engine I've heard in like ten years. We love it too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what I have for you on this Ford F Series Super Duty. Check out the videos over here. Again, I have a full videos on everything that's new in this vehicle too. You'll find that above. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.